Welcome back to Snapdragon Behind the Silicon. I'm Lucy Hedges, and this time, our Snapdragon insiders and I have landed in the wonderfully electrifying city of Tokyo. From centuries-old artistry to cutting-edge AI, it's right here that we'll be exploring how Snapdragon technology is unlocking new ways to imagine, design, and create. Joining us, we have Ishita Kanna, content creator and YouTuber from India, and Koki Yamaguchi, smartphone photographer and creator from right here in Tokyo, Japan. Hey guys, Hi. how are we? Great. 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 Excellent. So we are here in beautiful, beautiful Japan. I think it's fair to say the art scene here is nothing short of iconic. So are you ready to learn more about how laptops powered by Snapdragon can really enhance the creative process? I'm curious to see how Snapdragon can enhance one's creative workflow, especially the apps that I usually use and just learn more about it in general. I've always been fascinated by how AI and tech can help enhance creative processes and super excited to see how Snapdragon is going to help me as a creator push my limits. Well that is exactly what I wanted to hear from you both because we are going to meet a very incredibly talented illustrator who's going to show us how she leverages the cutting edge capabilities of laptops powered by Snapdragon as well as talk to an expert about all the steps that have been taken to make this all possible. All right, let's, go. let's do this. Joining us now is Ayumi Takahashi, an incredible illustrator based right here in Japan. A great place to start would be to get you to tell us a bit about yourself. I'm Ayumi Takahashi. I'm a painter and illustrator. I'm always looking for those universal connections. Then I bring those ideas using digital tools because it helps me explore more freely and work efficiently. I use a range of softwares to help me make vector art, digital painting, animations, or, you know, mixing photos with the illustration, for example. Photoshop, Illustrator, Affinity Photo, mm -hmm. Affinity Publisher. And what do you look for in a laptop when it comes to enhancing the kind of work that you do? Definitely speed, um, yes. battery life, and because I travel a lot, so it's so nice to have a lightweight computer so I can carry everywhere. And running different programs simultaneously without crashing. Are you using AI in your creative process at all? I kind of use it as a personal assistant to help me with the production workflow. I might use it to get a quick sketch or idea or test out a composition or a color combo. I am really, really looking forward to you showing us what you do and just taking us through your artistic skills. And I can already see you've got something going on. I've got an illustration that I've prepared. I thought since we're in Tokyo, I want to do something with the Japanese garden and cityscape. I'm painting on this Wacom Cintiq. One thing great about this computer is that I can use my favorite accessories. And you see how smooth the pen is following my hand. Yeah, no lag and it feels like painting on paper with a pen. Right now I'm painting with Affinity Photo. Mm -hmm. Now I think I've got a lot of stuff. I'm gonna add you. Hey, hey it's me. <laughs> Hey, I've been in a Japanese garden. <laughs> but you see on your arm, there's um, like a pattern here. And sometimes if you're working on a clothing campaign or something, you can't show a certain logo or pattern. Yeah. This tool is very useful to take that out magically. It works as a generative fill thing. So it takes the textures from the background, cleverly adjust it to fill this part in. And now let me show you another magical tool that I find very useful is this object selection tool powered by AI. Yeah, so now I can just do this with one click and it cleverly detect the birds and select them. If it's a complicated hair or like feather part, you can just refine it with one click. Yeah. Now you see these birds that we just cut out. I can place them in here and see, hmm, maybe Maybe we don't need a bird after all. So I didn't have to go in and draw the birds and waste all the time. Okay, so bye bye birds. So this is a great way to streamline that process basically and yeah, save you some time. What else do you guys want to try out or add? Trying to change color of an aspect of the image. So oh, that's a great point. A shark? 
yeah the ai also makes this really easy too now we can turn this color adjuster on and just you know change the color of your shirt to whatever you want and it looks very naturally because it does pick up the highlights and the shadows do you guys want to try anything with this yeah there's uh, no lag it's pretty cool now I've got a picture of Tolly totally Gate for you, so you can test out the object selection tool. See? So quick. <laughs> There's so much going on in the photo. Yeah, you see like when it turns yeah. green, it means it's it selected. It took and... less than like two seconds to do it, which is yeah. so cool. I definitely see myself using this tool so much. Honestly, it's just been a real joy watching you work, right? Yeah, it was super insightful to learn about your process, your workflow, and I've definitely picked up a lot of tools that I would be using <laughs> for myself. Mental notes. As a creator, I don't really get to see processes of other creators doing what they do, but getting the chance to do that was pretty insightful and, and inspiring. It was very intuitive and creative how she was just using AI to support her work. I noticed that there was no lag at all and I can see how half a second lag would frustrate a lot of creatives and stop the creative workflow. And so I think that experience is very important. We are now sitting down with Mac Takayuchi, Senior Field Application Engineer from the Qualcomm office here in Tokyo, and someone who knows everything there is to know about Snapdragon NPU-powered AI and compute. How are laptops powered by Snapdragon positioned in the creative space? We've been working very hard with the uh, ecosystem partners yes. to bring Snapdragon compatible applications and libraries. 93% of Windows user time is spent on native applications. Mm -hmm. We have a design software running natively on laptops powered by Snapdragon, Adobe Photoshop, mm -hmm. Illustrator, the Affinity Design Studio, Luminario, and Gigapixel. For video editing software, we have DaVinci and the Adobe Premiere Pro. How do you see technology shaping the future of creativity. We introduced designated AI chip called the MPU, mm -hmm. like a neural processing unit. Because of MPU, some of the workload can be offloaded from CPU and GPU, and application can put extra work on CPU and GPU. A lot of uh, AI-related work can be done efficiently and faster. Because of the power of MPU, mm -hmm. uh, now uh, we are able to introduce a uh, new functions, object subtraction, background uh, elimination, super resolution, which takes a lot of computation power. Yes. How does hardware, specifically the NPU, unlock new possibilities for creators? Because of the NPU, now a lot of work is run locally, quicker, more secure, and uh, consuming less power. A function like the object detection, background subtraction, and or even like denoising, yeah, that can be done by a power of AI, right? I have a cool demo to show you guys. This is a gigapixel AI demo. This is super resolution or upscale demo, and the process is done by NPU. So left side is the original picture image, the right side is upscale like to 4K. See the difference? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. insane. Mm -hmm. Significant difference. <laughs> it's like when you wear glasses and you pre see clearly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right, it's in 4K now. And the first image looks um, pretty unstable to me, but it's pretty crazy. I can definitely see myself use this, like pull out really old images that we probably took when yeah. 4K wasn't a thing. What are some emerging technologies that really excite you in the creative space? Real-time creative assistance mm -hmm. for image and video processing, AI-enhanced audio processing, real-time motion tracking yeah. are all areas where NPU plays a crucial role. Mm -hmm. There are more and more applications utilizing those NPU-powered functions, yeah. and I can't wait to see. Yeah, me too. Watch this space, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> As a creator, I'm just an end consumer, so I don't really know what goes behind the scenes or behind the technology of building that. And uh, something like NPU, I've never heard of before. Learning how powerful the machines are and how the tech is made was pretty insightful and pretty cool. I realized that the apps that they support is so diverse and seeing how 
he made an example from the upscaling. Seeing that drastic change and doing it in like half a second to a second was mind blowing. And that is a wrap on today's episode. From stunning visuals to immersive storytelling, Snapdragon innovations are truly redefining the way that creators bring ideas to life. And we're only really just scratching the surface. Stay tuned for more inspiring discoveries and we will see you next time. The Behind the Silicon series has been shot on Snapdragon. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. Thank you.